underpinnings are very similar to Yesco, exactly. But unlike the Yesco, you've got metal wheels, not carbon. Exactly. Back in the day, we did not have uh, carbon wheels, and this shape is very similar to the original wheel. So if you want carbon for this car, you have to kind of come back after you bought the car and buy it at our Legend Division, because it's not part of the configurator. It's so like swoopy and cool and really nicely integrated. How much time does a car like spend in the wind tunnel? We have a big cluster of supercomputers with a very advanced aerodynamic simulation, and then we have this flat airfield that you've experienced. <laughs> And when it's no wind, we can use that flatness and put strain gauges on the car and do coast downs to correlate to the simulation. So each of our model usually goes once or twice to a real wind tunnel to just verify that the simulation data also correlates the air on the track. So we kind of minimize the actual wind tunnel testing. And how close do you get those? Very close, within a few percent. Okay, so it's really accurate, the modeling that you do. In terms of like, everything that you see as a vent is functional. There's oh, yeah, no yeah. fakery on this. No, no, I'm really against anything you put on a car just for the sake of it looking cool. We have none of that on our cars. Once again, just from this angle, really, really cool design and an homage yet again to the CC8S. Really like this design with the wing, just the, these little bits poking yes. out. Can we make it go up, the wing? Yeah. Oh, nice. It's a really nice smooth action, I like that. <laughs> but there's one more thing I love about the rear end of this car, and it's the exhaust. Koenigsegg just can't help but experiment with exhausts. From the flat, high-mounted pipe on the Yesco, to the amazing vertical fins on the Regera. 